of a programme in this, which is the Free Eclipse Integrated Development Environment for Java. I'm going to assume that you've already installed the JDK, the JRE and Eclipse itself. Go to the workbench, which is where we'll do our work. and give your project a name. I'm going to call this tutorial one, but you can call it anything you like. Click next. And we can accept the defaults again on this screen. Click finish. And now we've got this tutorial folder here. And you can see that you've got uh, the Java system libraries included. And you've got this empty source folder. Right click on the, the project folder and then go to new class. And we need a, a class here that will be the only class that our Hello World program contains. And um, I'm gonna, you can call it anything you like, but I'm gonna call it application. And here you can see a box which you can tick to get to create a main method for you. That will be the, the actual starting point of our program, the entry point. And um, you need to have one of these in, in every program that you create somewhere. So I'll tick this box just to save us a bit of typing and then click finish. And now we've got our, our class. It's called application. A standard main method which every program has and um, which will fire off your program code. If you look at this stuff, this is, um, this is just a Java comment. This is actually formatted for the java.program, but you don't need to worry about that. Just get rid of it for the moment. And I'll get rid of this comment as well. Um, just by hitting back key. And here I'm going to type sysout and press control space and eclipse auto completes and you can see here I've got a print ln method um, which is Java's way of writing to the console. And there I'm going to type uh, two speech marks. Well, speech marks, so double quotes going on with my computer. Okay, there we go. Um, and uh, I'll just put some text in there. Hello world, which is traditional. And this, this blank line under there I'm going to get rid of by selecting it and pressing Control D, which is a handy shortcut. And this is a finished Java program and I can run it by clicking the run button, this green button here. Eclipse might ask you if you want to save your files and of course say yes. And then you can see the output down here, hello world. If this is your first Java program, then congratulations, you are now a Java programmer. And uh, I hope you find this useful. You can find more tutorials and information on caveofprogramming.com. And until the next tutorial, happy coding.